Hey, what's going on? Kate McShay here from katemcshay.com and inside of this video, I'm going to talk about one of the biggest fears that most people have when it comes to selling and marketing their offers inside of their home business. So yesterday, what I did is I shared with you a video that had to talk about the fear of rejection, okay? And I kind of ran out of time. I like to keep my minutes, sh my video short around five minutes or less. And so I wanted to make sure that, um, that I could really dig deep into that concept. And now I want to give you the second tip for today. So if you didn't get a chance to see that other video there should be a way to access it whether it's in the description below or it's a pop-up just make sure that you click on it and you go check out that video as well because that was really helpful and uh, my 10 penny strategy I know has helped a lot of our students and that would be something that could be really helpful for you as well all right so next tip uh, is the fear that one of my students had was was always moving forward with inspirational stuff but never asking for the sale because there was this fear of um, of 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 finances do i deserve to take this person's money right um and i had this for a really long time i was the kind of person that said i don't have to be a salesperson i can market my business and not sell well plain and simple a business is a business and a bu is a business and you're in business to make money however here's a concept that i've utilized and here's an affirmation i'm actually going to get it for you really quick that's over here on my wall that really helped me in the beginning is, is this guy, okay? And this is something that I would say to myself in the morning, and it was really helpful for me to change my mindset around, I don't want to ask people for money. It's what, what value I'm giving to them will change their life, okay? If they choose to utilize it, right? So I serve, I earn, I deserve, okay? So first piece here is I serve. So what this means is that this is not you just recommending and throwing out and pitching your deal to everybody and anybody. This is you serving them with some sort of value, listening to them, listening to their pains, listening to their struggles, and knowing that you have a way to help them, right? Giving them some sort of training and tips, recording videos, shooting blog posts, having your fan page where people can come and learn more information about their pains and struggles, right? That's the serving piece, hosting webinars, uh, whatever, you, whatever you do, um, hosting home parties that will help someone, okay? You are serving others. You earn, okay? If someone buys your product or your service that you recommend out to them, that you sell to them, it's okay to sell to people. We do it all the time. We sell we sell ourselves into why we want to watch a TV show. My husband sells me into why we want to go out on a Friday night for date night or where we want to go eat, right? I pick this place, he picks that place, and he sells me and I sell him on the reasons as to why that my restaurant is better than his. We all sell all day long, okay? So it's no different. So I earn, right? You earn a commission, you earn a sale, you market your business. People give you money because you're serving them, okay? Because they see the value in your product or service. So this is a good thing. And you deserve it, okay? If you're giving out value and you are giving out your service and your time and you are really helping change people's lives so that they buy your products, you deserve that, okay? You deserve that income. Your business deserves the income. You deserve the, the difference that it's gonna make in your life, okay, and in your business. The other thing I can tell you is that, think about it this way, all right? What if you don't sell? What if you only do inspirational stuff? Think about why you got into your business. Think about why you market your product. Are you passionate about your product? Are you passionate about your company? Are you passionate about what it's done for other people and other people's lives, even if you haven't had the success yet? Well, here's a good way to think about it. If you don't sell your product or opportunity or you don't recommend it out to somebody, then guess what? That could be that one person who needed your product or service. That it could potentially help them retire from their job. It could help them become healthier. It could help them get rid of their arthritis. You know, whatever it is, start thinking from the mindset of if I don't recommend this out to people because I've seen what it's done for myself or seen what it's done for other people, how is this going to affect somebody? How is this going to affect the person in the future, okay, that I haven't I haven't sold my product to or I haven't sold my service to. So I want you to think about it from that way, okay? I serve, I earn, I deserve, fully deserve it, okay? And also, if you are not recommending out your products and services, how many people's lives are gonna stay the same? How many people's lives are not going to change, okay? How are they not gonna move forward? And also, with you, how is your life gonna change? How is it not going to move forward? You gotta sell, 
Okay, so I hope that that helped. Hope that helps some of you guys get over some of those like money blocks that can happen quite a bit for people who don't have a business mind, who didn't have a business mindset and are now moving into building a, a, a home business. Okay, just like I was. So comment below with any feedback that you got. Share it with your friends if you feel like somebody else needs that as well today, needs to hear that message. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care.